throughout the many years I've been on YouTube, I have kept my identity a secret. I have decided to not show my face for many years. And uh, seeing as recently I hit 150 subscribers, I thought I owe it to you that maybe I make a face reveal. So after all these years of hiding my face, being a coward, I'm finally going to come out to you. And uh, yeah, I guess this is my face. This is my face. This is me. In all my full glory. You've never seen me like this before. You've never seen me before. I've always had my face blurred out, pixelated, censored. Or videos where I just don't use face cam at all in any way. I never wanted to give it away, but here I finally am, okay? And uh, seeing as that I have your attention, I might as well finish up an old series I had. I'm going to be finishing up the old video, how to put a clarinet together. And at the end of the title, I put one out of two. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to take a clarinet apart. Because I ha I've had the wait of doing the second part of this video for so long that I thought, now that I'm here, I might as well finish it. So here I am. I'm going to take a clarinet apart because you need to know how to do that, apparently. Oh, God damn it, dude. I didn't prepare ahead of time, so I have to put the entire clarinet back together. I'm not soaking the reed because fuck you. Shit. God fucking damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, this is pretty much... I pretty much have the clarinet together. I'm going to put the ligature on, even though there's no reed. Because, uh, well, it can just serve as a visual representation of, you know... Let's say, okay, so let's just pretend there's a fucking reed on there. There isn't, but let's just pretend for the sake of argument. Okay, we're going to go a little theoretical here. We're going to go a little Ben Shapiro mode here, okay? Let's just pretend there's a reed here for the rest of the video. Anyways, when you want to take clarinet apart, the first thing you want to do is take the reed off. So... Yeah, untighten the ligature as much as possible, take it off. The reed is usually still stuck to the mouthpiece, so you take the reed off. Somehow, just don't break it, okay? Don't be a fucking idiot. And then you put it back into your reed case, or whatever you, wherever you hold, store your reeds, whatever. And then after that, you just have what I have. After you do that, you would theoretically have what I have right now. You hypothetically would have that, theoretically, whatever the hell. Anyways, then you take the mouthpiece off. You can start from either end. I usually start from the bottom. So actually, no, I'm gonna start from the bottom. Put them. You could put the mouthpiece back on it, or you can. Or so, I don't know. Anyways, take the bell off. Boom. Bell is off. Then take the lower joint off. Yeah, and then take the upper joint off. I'm. I'm. I'm not putting it in my case. I'm putting it on my desk right now. But you're gonna put it in your case because where else you're gonna put it? And then you take your barrel off. And then now you just have all your pieces. You put them back into your case in the way that it is designed to be placed in there uh wherever your ligature goes you put your ligature in there and uh that's pretty much it putting a clarinet taking clarinet apart is pretty simple that's kind of why i never made the second video second part to the original and uh yeah i hope you enjoy my face reveal um <coughs> yeah Ooh, wee wee I, I don't know why i look italian with this mustache anyways i hope you enjoy this video you finally know what my face looks like and uh yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. I did draw this in permanent marker, so I don't know how I'm going to get it off. But I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.